Did you know that there's an app that can drastically improve your Windows 11 experience in just a few clicks? Today we're diving into how that app can help you optimize Windows 11 and boost your system's performance. So let's get started with this app. Let's go ahead and open up Google search and we're simply going to type in WinAreo Tweaker. You're going to go to the WinAreo Tweaker website and you're going to select the option to download it. And when it downloads, it's going to go ahead and give you a file that you're going to need to decompress. You're going to decompress that file and you're going to run the install and follow the directions on the screen. It's pretty straightforward. This particular app is going to give you a variety of options you probably didn't even think you needed in Windows 11. But little things like turning off ads and actually enabling the registry backup which is disabled by default and giving you more ability for having your regular Windows uh, restore points in the device as well as a whole slew of different things to make the windows look better and run better and run smoother and to de-bloat a lot of features inside windows 11. you're going to actually like this a lot so go ahead and hit that thumbs up right now before you forget and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on showing you the program since you've got it installed already don't forget to click that subscribe button right now as well to get more great content like this. And one of the very first options in this program is actually for the context menu. This is a very important thing because we access the context menu all the time in Windows. This is going to bring back a bunch of options that you had to click more on in Windows 11 to get the context menu. So that's something you may want. I turn that on every time and I think it would be good for you to do that as well. This is a useful one. You can disable all the background apps at once with this option. If you don't like Copilot, you can easily turn it off right here. And if you don't like the Windows Spotlight showing up on your desktop, you can turn that off right here. That way it doesn't tell you what each picture on your background is. And here we have a lot of appearance changes that you can make to make Windows look a variety of different ways, depending on your flavor and Windows and how you like it to look. And here's some more advanced appearance settings where you can change the way icons, menus, and fonts look across windows and change windows borders and titles bars as well. Now we get to some very important ones, ads and unwanted apps. You can turn off ads. The automatic registry backup is one of the most important things that you should turn on as well that's in this section under behavior. You can do a lot of other things in this section as well. That just depends on what you want to, how you want to set your windows up. There's a lot of important ones in here, like disabling driver updates, error reporting, uh, restore point frequency. There's a lot of stuff in here that you'll want to look through to see if you want to change those settings for your windows. Now we have the boot and login options, auto repair on boot, you have boot options, check this time out at boot, some things like hide the last username or lock the screen sl slideshow duration, login screen image, uh, show last login info, power button on the login screen. These are all uh, things that you can decide for yourself how you would like your windows to work. But the fact is that this gives you the ability to change those settings is terrific and gives you a lot of flexibility in making Windows yours again. For instance, the disable the blur on the login, I never understood why they did that, but that's something that I use myself. Now we have the desktop and task bar. There's some features in here that are pretty nice. If you like the classic volume mixer, for instance, I use that. You can disable web search, so that's disabled when you're searching for things. There's a lot of features in here that depend on you, again, for wallpaper quality and Windows version 
uh, showing at desktop would be entirely up to you how you would want to have those set uh, for your version of Windows. Now we get to the context menu section. There's a lot in here. This just has to do with editing the context menu that I showed you at the beginning of the video where we turned on the classic context menu. So this just allows you to add more features to the context menu and that really depends on each individual user, what features they use regularly, what they would like in there. So make changes to this as you would like and add things to the context menu that you use regularly to make Windows run more efficient and faster for you so it doesn't take as long to find the things you need. Now we get to the Microsoft Edge option. Disable annoyances and bloat. There's some things in here. I do that. I disable the annoyances and bloat. And uh, you can di desktop, disable the desktop shortcut creation after updates and disable updates completely if you want to. I don't disable the updates, but I do disable the annoyance and the bloat. Now we have things you can add to the settings and control panel. You can add classic user accounts, add personalization, you can add Windows updates, dis disable the online video tips and settings. That's something I do, I really don't need that. Hide pages from settings and insider pages. So next we have the file explorer section. The, like the do this for all co contents checkbox, the automatic folder type discovery. I use that. There's a variety of other options in here like hide drives and you know customize this PC folders. There's just a bunch of things in here that depends on you as a person how you would like to have your computer. Again, this is a customizing program that allows you to customize all sorts of things throughout Windows to make Windows the way you want it, to give you a bunch of features that Windows didn't give you in Windows itself. Now we're in the network section and there's administrative shares, export specific firewall rules, network drives over UAC, uh, RDP port, which is the remote desktop. You can change the port for that, reset desktop data usage. Most of the things in here are things you will never ever need to touch at all. So I would probably just skip this entire section for the majority of you. Now we have the user account section, built-in administrator. If you wanna enable the administrator account, if you want to disable user account controls, or enable user account controls for the built-in administrator. That's up to you if you wanna have that capability and have an extra user on your PC that comes up you know, with the administrative user. Now you can turn off the Windows Defender. Uh, there's a section for that. I don't recommend it, but you know, if you're an advanced user and you've got other protection or you're the type of person who wants no protection at all, go right ahead. Now you've got options for the Windows apps from the Windows Store. Do you want to auto-update apps from the Windows Store? Do you want to disable Cortana or disable Windows uh, Inc. Workspace? That's up to you as well. Decide for yourself. There's some hibernation battery power settings in here that you can go ahead and look through. Some of them might help you if you're having some power issues. Now we're moving into the privacy. You can disable password reveal button and disable telemetry right here as well. I would t disable the telemetry. Now you have a bunch of shortcuts you can create. Classic shortcuts, uh, elevated shortcuts, safe mode shortcut, just screen snippet shortcuts. It just depends on what things you use and what will make Windows work easier for you so you can get to things quicker. That's determined by you so go ahead and decide for yourself on that and make windows a lot better now we got the tools section where you can do a little customizing you can change the oem information you can change the registered owner you can clear wallpaper history a bunch of stuff in here if you want to customize your windows give it a little bit of a custom touch that's uh that's something you can definitely do and have fun with enjoy so do you want those classic games or maybe you want the classic calculator or the Windows Photo Viewer, uh, the classic notepad? You can do all that here under the Get Classic Apps. Finally, this is the end of the program uh, for me. I'm going to tell you that 
Enjoy making windows customized to your liking and making it work quicker and better and faster than ever. And if you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below. And uh, let me know what you didn't like about it if you didn't like something in this video so that I can do the videos better in the future. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. This was Mr. On Demand, Man with the Master Plan, and I'll see you.